Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to create this beautiful headband. Now we're going to start by using our yarn as well as a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now you can start by making a slip knot and you can do this in whichever way you prefer. And then we're going to make 14 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now, depending on how wide you'd like your headband to be, you can go ahead and ensure that your foundation chain is a multiple of two. Now the pattern for this headband uses a half double crochet and a slip stitch. So skip the first chain and in the second chain do a half double crochet. To do a half double crochet, yarn over your hook, insert your hook inside the second chain, and pull up a loop, yarn over your hook, and we're going to pull it through all three loop sets on our hook. That's a half double crochet, and in the chain stitch beside it, we're going to do a slip stitch. Now insert your hook inside the chain and pull up a loop. And then we're going to pull this loop through the loop that would have already been on our hook. So we're just going to pull it through. And we're going to alternate between half double crochets and slip stitches going across. So in the next stitch, do a half double crochet. So again, yarn over your hook, insert it inside the chain, and pull up a loop three loops on our hook, we're going to yarn over, pull the yarn through all three loops. And now the slip stitch, insert your hook inside the chain and pull up a loop and pull that loop through the loop that would have already been on the hook. And we're just going to do that again, alternating going all across. So half double crochet next. And then a slip stitch, half double crochet, and then a slip stitch, half double crochet, and then a slip stitch half double crochet and then a slip stitch and we're going to end the row with a half double crochet so we should have 13 stitches in total now for our next row, chain one and turn your work. And instead of starting the row with a half double crochet, we'll be starting the row with a slip stitch. So for this row, it will be slip stitch and then half double crochet, slip stitch and then half double crochet and so on. So you'll see that from our previous row, this would have been the last half double crochet that we did. On top of it, we're going to do a slip stitch. So pull up a loop and pull the loop through that loop that would have already been on the hook. And then right here where our slip stitch was from the previous row, we're going to do a half double crochet on top of it. So yarn over your hook and pull up a loop with three loops on the hook yarn over 
and pull through all three and then a slip stitch half double crochet and then a slip stitch half double crochet and then a slip stitch half double crochet and then a slip stitch and we continue doing that going across And of course, in the final stitch, we end with a slip stitch. So for this pattern, if we started with a slip stitch, then we'll end with a slip stitch. And if we start with a half double crochet, we'll also end with a half double crochet. So you can chain one, turn your work, and then in this row, we'll start with a half double crochet. So it's a two row repeat where we interchange between starting with the half double crochet or the slip stitch. So in this row, we'll start with a half double crochet and then a slip stitch beside it, half double crochet and then a slip stitch beside it, half double crochet in the next stitch which is here and then a slip stitch beside it and we do that going all the way across And of course, we end with a half double crochet. Now chain one, turn your work. And for this row, remember the last row we started with a half double crochet. So in this row, we'll start with a slip stitch. And in, in the stitch beside it, which is here, we'll do a half double crochet. followed by a slip stitch and then a half double crochet and you can just continue interchanging between the two going all the way across and of course we end our row by doing a slip stitch so remember if we started the row with a slip stitch we'll end with a slip stitch and if we start the row with a half double crochet will end with a half double crochet. So go ahead and continue the pattern interchanging between the two. This row I started with a slip stitch, which means that in the next row where I chain one and turn my work, I'll start with a half double crochet and then the slip stitch. And then I keep changing between the two until I have my desired now, length. Now once you've gone ahead and created your desired length, I've actually done 69 rows in total. You can go ahead and make the loop larger from your last stitch. And then you can cut your yarn. Pulling it all the way through. Now either side works for this headband. The pattern is created on both sides. So you can just go ahead and take a crochet needle, insert the yarn inside the needle here, and then we're just going to weave the yarn through the stitches here at the back. Now once you're satisfied with that, you can just go ahead 
and cut the excess yarn. Now to make the twisted pattern at the front of our headband, I'm going to ensure that the sides that I would have weaved in is on the outside. And you can just go ahead and fold it in half. And to make that twist, twisted pattern at the front, go ahead and just place the edges halfway through. So this is at the halfway point there. Same here. And then we're just gonna fold it once again. Now once you've done that, we're just going to go ahead and sew the sides together. Now once you've sewn it together, you can just go ahead and cut your ends. And I like to tie my ends as well for some added security. And you can also take your crochet needle and weave through the ends here to hide them. And then you can go ahead and turn your headband inside out and this creates the finished look now this is the final look if you found this tutorial helpful please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so as yet thanks so much for watching bye